Hi, welcome to Stretch and Strength. I'm Mira Cook with Battery Dance. We're going to do a 30 minute class based on Pilates exercises, yoga, stretching, and we'll do some breathing as well. Uh, make sure you have a little bit of space. You might wanna lay down a blanket or a mat. We'll be doing some stuff lying down. So just wanna make sure you'll be comfortable and have a nice, comfortable flat surface to work from. So, Let's start sitting down. I've been doing a lot of work to relax the shoulders and open and stretch the shoulders. Um, so we're always working on relaxing these top muscles, the trapezius muscles, and then the chest as well it gets tight and it pulls our shoulders forward. So I'm, we're stretching those muscles. And what we're trying to strengthen is the muscles down in, in the sides of your back and below our shoulder blades because those help pull our shoulder blades down and pull our shoulders back and it takes the pressure off these muscles. Let's start with a trapezius muscle um, relaxation. Put your hand on your trapezius, it's in between your shoulder and your neck. Lift the shoulder and squeeze it, breathe in. Breathe out and let it fall. Lift and squeeze, imagining you're squeezing the dirty water out of a sponge. Letting it fall. <sighs> Lift, squeeze, and turning your head side to side. You could be standing for this as well. I'm sitting and I'm making sure that my spine is upright. And then look down and up. Look forward, breathe in, breathe out and drop it. And notice how your notice how your shoulders are feeling now. Hopefully the shoulder we worked on feels like it's hanging lower. So we do want to sit up, we don't want to be doing the stretch in a slouchy position. Touch your trapezius muscle, lift your shoulder and squeeze, breathe in. Breathe out, let it fall. Lift and then squeeze like a mama cat picks up her kitten by the scruff of the neck. Breathing out. Breathe in. Squeeze. Look side to side. Notice something with your eyes. Look down and up. Look forward. Breathe in. Breathe out, let it fall. Hopefully your shoulders feel heavier and more set down now. Let's just take our head side to side. Gentle stretch in the sides of the neck muscles. And then just hanging the head forward and up and forward. And lift your chin up so you get a stretch in the front of the throat. One more time, down and up. If you can, glide the chin forward and back. So we go forward and then way back. Forward, way back. Forward, way back. Forward, way back. And then find the center. You wanna feel your forehead is stacked on top of your sternum. Sometimes they might be out of balance Try to set a flat forehead on top of a flat sternum. You're imagining the flat. And then we're gonna set that on top of our pubic bone. Pubic bone, sternum, forehead. So nothing's out of alignment. We're just one, two, three. That's what we can think of for today anyway. Change the cross of your legs. Circle the chest so we get a little stretch in the sides and the hips. Keep your shoulders heavy. Usually my shoulders want to get involved in whatever I'm doing, even though they usually don't need to. So we're just practicing relaxing the shoulders while we move the rest. Let's do something to wake us up a little bit. We're gonna look over your, you look over your right shoulder and breathe, sniff in through your nose. When you look over your left shoulder, you blow out through your mouth. So we're making a, a tight loop of air. And when we look, we're gonna focus our eyes quickly like we're taking a photo with our eyes. We're just gonna do nine times. Ready? Here we go. Three. 
seven. Stop, good. It flushes the brain with oxygen. It's normal to feel maybe a little bit um, lightheaded. Now we're gonna start by turning our head over our left shoulder and we'll do the same thing nine times. Here we go. Good, pause. Nice work. Let's just take an eye circle. So body is still, pubic bone, breastbone, forehead, stacked, shoulders relaxing down. We're just gonna look down, only the eyes are moving. Eyes look down to the side, diagonal up, diagonal side, diagonal down, and blink forward. You can feel how it's kind of a stretch in your eye socket. We're now we're gonna go down and we're gonna reverse the circle, go the opposite way from whatever you did last time. Just the eyes look down, diagonal down, side, diagonal up, up, diagonal up, side, diagonal down, down, and blink and look forward. Hopefully we feel like we expanded our peripheral vision. Just take a moment to, to um, soften your eyes and notice how wide is your peripheral vision. How much side to side can you see at the same time? And up and down. We have a pretty, pretty large field of vision. Good. Cross your, uh, change the cross again and we'll just hang forward for a moment to stretch our thighs. The outer hips. Puff up your back with air, especially the back low ribs and the lower back. And relax the shoulders again. Sit up and switch. Breathing into the back low ribs and the low back. Okay, continuing our warm up. We're, we're starting out a little bit slow today, but we will work our way up to some more um, challenging exercises. We're lying on our back with our feet parallel, about two fists widths apart. Um, just under our sit bones, laying on our back. You can clasp your ribs with your hands. The thumb can go under the ribs. Feel your breathing go wide into your hands. more times so we're, we're trying to breathe side to side instead of up away from the ground next time target the breath wide and also down into the mat so we're puffing up side to side and backwards and see if you can do it without the shoulders getting too involved one more time now when we exhale, imagine you're narrowing your waist. If you have a corset on, you'd just be drawing it tighter. Belly button goes down to the mat. Ribs go wide and low. Waist goes small. Twice more, breathe wide and down into the mat. Relaxing the shoulders. Breathing low, exhaling. Squeezing the waist. Last time. Good. Arms go out. They'll just hover just off the floor and slide your shoulders away from your ears. You'll notice your shoulder blades are sliding down your back. The ground is holding you and the gravity is stretching your chest and shoulders. Take your right hand over your head and your left hand down by your hips. We're drawing a circle around our body just off the ground, so maybe six or eight inches off the ground. The whole time, our shoulders are sliding down. 
the arm that goes up, sometimes we want to lift that shoulder, but we don't need to. If the arm that goes up, that shoulder will slide down away from the ear. Maybe you're feeling a stretch in your arms, armpits, shoulder girdle. Next time your right arm goes up, knees will sway left, and you'll look to the right and up. Now go through a T, the arms off the ground. Arms are always off the ground. Knees sway right, arm goes up left. Belly button pulls you back to center. Breathing fully. This is snow angels. Once more right and left. Don't let your back go into a big arch when your knees go over. So I'm still controlling, not just dumping into an arch. Good. Roll onto your side so you can face me. Palms are stacked. First we'll do telescope. Top hand slides past the bottom one. Then it stacks on top. Rub. Open your chest. Narrow your waist as you feel open. Bend the arm. Rub through. Go past your arm. Go through the middle. Shoulders are going away from the ears. Waist is narrowing. Now we'll do two pinwheels. Arm goes overhead with the palm up, shoulder slides down. Now reach far to the side, reach far down below your hips. We'll do one more time. The arm is hovering off the ground. Shoulder slides down as we reach up. Pull far to the side. Good, two more telescopes and then we'll reverse the pinwheel. Breathe in, feeling that nice feeling of your spine twisting. It's not just the hand that comes back, also feel of your lungs, your lungs pulling backwards and your belly button pulls backwards to help you tw twist. Now we'll reverse the circle. Palm up, going down below your hips, reach, 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 reach. Now reach, reach, reach out to the side, side, side. Over the head, plug your shoulder into your body. One more circle. Down around. Reaching side. Up overhead. Good. Easily push yourself up and we'll just transition to the other side. Stacking your hips, one on top of the other, and your shoulders. First telescope slide forward to the middle. Heel open. Rub down your arm. Slide forward. Even the bottom shoulder, even though we're squishing it, it can try, try and pull a little away from the ear. And back front through your lungs and your belly button, pull back. Pinwheel overhead, palm up, shoulder down. Reach to the side, reach down, down, down around the hips. Hopefully this is feeling good, it feels great to me. Make it feel good. If it feels like too much of a stretch, then just tone down your effort. Just make it a little smaller, right? Do the right amount of stretch for you. Two, pin, uh, two telescopes sliding through the middle. Open. Slide past through the middle. Pull back through the belly button and the lungs. Now the pinwheel goes down around the bottom hips. Overhead. Plug your shoulder. One more time, reach low, reach side. Shoulder slides down and the arm goes up. Good, let's turn onto our back. We'll do a few articulated bridges. Feet are under the sit bones, two fist widths apart. Push your shoulders down into the mat to broaden your collarbones, breathe in. Now bring your belly button down to the ground so your whole spine will be on the ground. Now peel your tailbone up. 
the lower back, the middle back, the upper back until we're in a bridge. Your back is hanging. We don't want to push into an arch. Hang your back. Pull your butt towards your heels and relax your chest and the shoulders are open. Breathe in. Relax the sternum. The upper back. See how detailed you can make this roll down. There's many vertebrae and they can roll down one at a time. Breathe in. Peel up the tailbone. Feel the butt and the back of the thighs working. We're drawing your sit bones towards your knees. Breathe in. Breathe out. Imagine you're squeezing a ball between your knees. Again, peeling up. Still our shoulders are broad. Press into your right foot and lift your left foot two inches off the ground and then put it down. Press left, lift right. We're trying to keep our hips level as we're marching, mini marching. See if you can keep your hips level instead of letting that hip drop when you lift your leg. And again, press your shoulders into the mat. One more time, right and left. You can even press your palms into the mat. Find your bridge, lift your hips. Breathe out to start your roll down. Just marching your knees to feel your lower abs. Spine doesn't move, just the knees. Activating the lower belly. Floating the knees up to tabletop. Again, spine is, um, stomach is narrowing. We tighten our corset. Press the shoulders down. We're gonna go toe taps. Lowering your toe towards the ground. You might get there, you might just go halfway down. You lower your toe as far as you can without arching your back, right? We're trying to hold our center. And notice if your shoulders wanna pop up when you lower your toe. Just go down as far as you can where your spine is still and your shoulders are broad. It's hard, this is quite a hard exercise. Well, and floating one leg down and then the other. Pick up your right leg, left palm will press to the inside of the knee, press your, your knee and your hand into your center line. Good. Knee and hand into the center line. One more time, right knee, left hand, press in towards each other. Left knee, right hand, press in towards each other. Good. Um, let's take one knee to our chest and the other one long. Let's curl our head, so nod your chin, and then roll your head up. When, when we lift our head, a lot of times we want to jut our chin forward and look how much it stresses out our neck, a lot. We do use our neck, but we want to soften the front of the neck as much as possible. So imagine you're lengthening the back of the neck and curling up. So the back of your leg, neck is getting longer until we peel up our shoulder blades. Lift your bottom leg and then switch and hold. So the throat crease is getting deeper. The back of the head is pushing backwards. You can even try pushing your head into your hands like this, or you can keep grabbing your knees. So our neck is working, but we're not trying to stress out the front of it. Let's go five, four, three, two, one. Hug your knees and roll on your back. Good, we'll do the same thing, but scissoring the legs. Let's bring both feet up to the ceiling. We're gonna just curl, nod your chin, lengthen the back of your neck to roll up. Grab your right leg, extend the left. We're gonna go, breathe in. We're pressing down through the lower back ribs. We're broadening the shoulders. Blow through a straw twice. And we're nodding the chin and deepening the throat crease. We'll go five. You can also do this 
with your head down. Four, three, two, one, and relax. Put your feet down. Let's do figure four stretch. Cross your ankle over your knee. Grab the bottom thigh, pull it towards your chest. Um, top knee goes away from the shoulder like you're opening a door. Can you relax your sternum more? Can you relax your throat more? Can you relax your shoulders more? Relaxing our eyes and our hair. Switch. Grab the back of the thigh. Hold towards. Knee goes away from shoulder. your heartbeat. Notice the air passing into your lungs. Grab the backs of your thighs and just roll up. We'll do a little bit for a hamstring stretch and rolling down to continue strengthening our abs. Good. So feet can be um, hips width apart. We're just going to glide forward, reach towards your toes like you're trying to stamp your forehead onto the tops of your feet. And then come up, flip so that you're imagining you're squeezing a ball. Or if you have a pillow or something, you can literally squeeze a pillow. And then tuck your tailbone. We're rolling down. Keep squeezing in. Just roll halfway down. Back of the neck gets longer to come up. Try to touch your forehead to your tops of your feet. Come up and squeeze, half roll down. Forehead to the feet, coming up, squeeze your arms, roll down. Now if you want to, if you're using a pillow or something, you can put it in between your ankles and you'll just imagine you still have a pillow here. Imagine you're touching your head to the pillow Come up, squeeze your hands and your legs, and rolling down. Breathe out and stretch. Breathe in, sit tall. Breathe out and squeeze. Sit up. Let's do four more. Breathe in. Breathe out and squeeze. And you can also push your heels down into the ground to activate your hamstrings. Breathe out. In and tall. Out and round. Two more, breathe. And when we're going back, a lot of times our shoulders, they wanna go in front of us. We want them to stay in line with our ears and they can just press down and together. Last one. Good guys, let's do a sit and twist for the spine. Let me check how much time we have. A little bit more time, good. Bend the right knee, cross the left foot over. So I'm in a little pretzel and then we wanna lower both sit bones onto the ground. Wrap your hand around your left knee, sit up tall, look over your left shoulder. We want the spine to be getting taller, the head is pushing up to the sky. Shoulders are sliding down the back and look left. Breathe in to get taller. Breathe out and relax into your twist. Let's go through a straddle before we transition. So we have our legs in a wide V and we walk forward so our inner thighs Get a stretch. See if you can lengthen the back of the neck. Usually our head and throat sag. Long through the back of the neck, throat floats up. Other side, bend your left leg. Right foot comes over the top. Drop the sit bones, both are on the ground. We're sitting up tall. 
our knee, right knee comes in, and then we look around the right, around to the right. Breathe in, get taller. Breathe out, relax into your twist. One more time, straddle stretch. Maybe you can make your V even a little wider this time. Go forward. Good, soles of the feet together. Just a moment of butterfly, just gently. Helps to open the hips a little bit. Close the knees like a book. Let's take a moment in a little crouch. This can help decompress the back of your ankles. Feel your shoulders wide. The upper body's relaxing. We're gonna stretch our legs and hang forward in a forward fold. Feel free, your, your knees can be a little bit bent still if you like, or you can feel free to touch your shins. Hang over, shake your head no. And yes, dangle the upper body. Head is heavy like a bowling ball. The head will help lengthen the spine. The weight of the head pulls the spine long. Bend your knees, roll up. Let's do roll downs. Let's add the arms. So we're gonna float the arms up and remember, pubic bone, sternum, forehead, that's our alignment for today. Breathe in, get tall. Shoulders are still alongside of the ears. Now curve over a huge barrel, rolling our spine down long. Walk four times on your hands forward. One, two, three, four. Even here, it's still pubic bone, sternum, and forehead. A lot of times the head sags forward. Three to five push-ups where the elbows come towards the ribs. All we're doing is bending the elbows, guys. Don't let your shoulders get narrow. Don't let them come up by your ears. Lift your stomach so you go through a downward dog. Let's just walk back and uh, do whatever feels good here. You can walk between your feet. Walk the hands back, one, two, three, four. Press into your feet, roll up like a big barrel is rolling up your body, up tall. And shoulders are broad. Breathe out to curve up and over. Walk forward, find your alignment. Push your sternum and your forehead away from the mat. Three to five push-ups. Shoulders go away from the ears. Walk your hands back. Hook, push through your feet points and roll up. One more time that. Up and over. Making the spine longer in the back. Take a moment here. Shoulders slide away from the ears. Sternum goes away. Pull your pubic bone towards your rib cage. Now just bend your elbows only. dog walking back. Roll up to the top. Good. Feel your head here. Feel your head pressing up to the sky and the crown of your head is open. See if you can sense what's above you with your awareness. Feel your feet, they're open and they're spreading in every direction. They have roots that could go down through the floor. Sense your feet and your head at the same time. Notice your pelvis. The pelvis is right in between the two, holding you up. It has a bowl that supports you. 
good and hopefully feeling better to start our day now. Thank you for joining me. I'm here every Friday morning at 9 a.m. If you're able to, you can donate to BatteryDance.org.